We did it! 10k subs! As promised, here's your Q&A. Um, while I'm doing the Q&A, in the background we have some other, uh, me or others, derping with climbs. Um, I haven't had a look at the questions yet. Someone else helped me organize them, so you can have my genuine, genuine reaction to them. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, first question, Dan Kreier. Hey Xon, I know you're from Holland, but do you also live there? And if so, where do you live in Holland? Well, um, I live uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, how did you get to know about World of Tanks? Uh, the first time I learned about World of Tanks was because I was dipping around on YouTube and I found a video of Jingles. Like, whoa. And yeah, I got quite interested and started playing ever since I watched that video. So, can I add you to my friends list and play some Platoon? <laughs> no. No, I, uh, no. No. <laughs> I don't play uh, random in Platoon. Can you do music in the background? Peace. I could, yeah. It's gonna be in the next video if you if you look at that. Good. Who teach you the ways of climbing, Jurgensen? Um, it started out when I joined the WGL team, Knackerbrit, and we had to come up with tactics. And some of those tactics required bad jets to go on places that were unconventional, to say the least. And we had to learn how to get to those places. Yeah. So, who taught me was basically Paleware. He did a lot of uh, work and we spent a lot of hours. And, well, that's been like a year ago and things have changed. <laughs> I left the WGL team, not, in not interested in ESL anymore. And, yeah. So, now I'm climbing and making YouTube videos. Uh huh. Bay Danny, how did you start to climb and who inspired you? By the way, why are you not an animal like she's <laughs> triggered? <laughs> well, um, oh, I started to climb in the Knackerbrit team, and who inspired you was basically the tactics made by Hellfish. Uh, why am I not an animal? Um, I thought I'm a goat, but okay, maybe I'm not a goat. <laughs> I have to ask she's about that. Uh, how much time you spend in training rooms for all the climbing vids material? Ooh, um, that depends. That depends on um, all the... Yeah, well, it's a lot of hours. In total, I can't even start counting. Like, the, some of the climbs are really hard to do on cliff or um, on ghost town. Uh, mountain pass, some of the climbs are really, really hard and you just spend hours upon hours and then just um, trying to find new climbs and just spending a full day just climbing the same climb and then realizing that it's not possible in the batch yet or you can't do it. I know, and sometimes it works out and then you like get that rush, that adrenaline rush and that feels really good. So, how much time? A lot. Really, a lot. Christian Michal Koman. How much did you practice to be able to make those climbings? Some of them are not easy at all. Um, a lot, a lot of hours. Like, um, when I was still in with Knekkebrit, uh, we used to train for like three hours from seven to ten. And after that, me and Felber would jump into uh, training rooms and then just climb until like an hour. Uh, like 3 a.m. In, in the evening or in the night and yeah well I probably clock around 200 plus hours just climbing in training rooms alone and the reason why yeah I make them look easy because I practiced a lot like a lot how much do you like your Batmobile? Um, no well no one it's my favorite tank in the game <coughs> um, Betchet is like I wanted to play it when I didn't have it, and when I had it, it didn't strike me like as an optimal tank. I I enjoyed it, obviously, but um, there was nothing really special about it. I hated the reload, and I just I couldn't 
make it work properly. And then climbing came around and realized Batchet is the best tank for Stronghold and Clamor for climbing, so it easily became one of my favorite tanks. What is the hardest mountain you have climbed? Mine is maybe mine's A0 map corner. The hardest one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um. Oh god. Really hard? Um, I got really frustrated doing A3 on steps. Like, it took me 45 minutes to get up the first time and... Oh man, it was... I just remember that time so well, because I was raging so much. <laughs> Almost broke my keyboard, but I but I made it. And that's just... that's stuck in the back of my head. Maybe it's not the hardest anymore, but it definitely... It's, it's in my memory of one of the hardest. And that I had a lot of difficulty learning. So I'm gonna go with A3 on steps. Miki! Have you finished high school? Which field of study? No. Well, I'm in university and... Kinda like, um... World of Tanks has delayed my study. So, yeah. <laughs> Not the best thing you can have, but still. Um, field of study is civil engineering. So, basically everything about bridges and roads and tunnels and water, everything. It's really wide and it's really broad and you could do a lot with it. My job for life? Well, I started with YouTube and now I want to do something with this. Believe it or not. It's, yeah, this has inspired me to do more uh, with videos and just movies in general really strike me as interesting. I didn't know before, like I started YouTubing, so <laughs> we'll see what gets out of this. My job for life would be, of course, living as a goat in the Swiss Alps, but yeah. Eh? <laughs> Can't have everything. Three is a smiley. Jimon, is Judas better for in climbing for from Batchet 25T? Uh, no. Uh, the thing uh, why I hit Udas is because uh, the acceleration is so, so bad. It, I just get triggered every time it wants to accelerate to its max speed. It just takes a year. Like I'm sleeping and then, oh, fine, oh, top speed, oh, 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 now I gotta climb, you know? Doesn't strike me as interesting at all. Okay, it sticks to the slopes like fucking glue, but still. I don't like it. What mod for your skin? What mod? Um, I basically just use, uh, change, like, some pictures. I'll, I'll show it in the video. Ballas! Hey! <laughs> the Xanem Edom. Thanks. I hadn't had hadn't time to watch this whole video, so I don't know what's the end of this. My question is, could you share your skin mod, or do you want to take that only for yourself? Thanks for, thanks for your answer. Um, I want to give my skin mod away for, like, uh, prizes in my competitions. So you really have to earn them. Uh, the guy that made it for me really put a lot of love into it, and I want to... Of course, I want to give it to you guys, but I, w I don't want to give it away for free. You have to do something for it, so yeah, it's a good thing to have as an extra prize in my competitions, besides the gold, of course. Stranger, with a T49, I could climb like Bad Jet. Um, that depends. Um, T49 has better halter first, or better? Well, it has more halter first than the Bad Jet, which can be positively and negatively. Namely, negatively for wiggling, because if you want to wiggle with a T49, you have to really uh, you have to be better in wiggling, so to say. You have to mash that A and D key, like, your life depends on it. And with a Batchet you can kind of take it more slow, because it turns slower. Uh, with wiggling you just want to go forwards, and if you go left or right in a T49 all the time, it gets harder, of course. But T49 has, um, really good potential, yeah. Um, I would say you can do almost everything uh, a Batchet can do in a T49, it's just harder. Mandalore the second. Which tank would you say is the best cli best climber of all tanks? Um, the best climber probably uh, are you two five one because of the top speed. Uh, the you yeah, 
Because the top speed of the RU can just make almost every hard climb in a bad jet trivial. For example, A6 on Swamp. It's really hard in a bad jet and super easy in the RU. Just because of those extra uh, kilometers an hour you can get. So, any tips for climbing with the RU? I would say use the top speed. Get to top speed and just boost up, boost up a slope and... Um, whatever you do in a bad jet, take the same approach with the RU but steeper. Because you can sacrifice more speed into height, and which usually means easier climbs. What hog? Mountain goat. Thanks for the superb and instructive climbing. Question: Is the overall driving skill a disadvantage for climbing since it reduces ground resistance and you slide easier? Um, well, yes. <laughs> that's basically yes. That's what it does. Um, it's worse for technical climbs because with technical climbs you want to rock back and forth and you want to wiggle and the thing is you want to stick to the slope when you, when you do that and when you have less ground resistance you'll slide more so this is a disadvantage but for other climbs where you don't really have like space to maneuver you want to accelerate as fast as possible to top speed to be able to convert speed into height so then you want the off-road driving skills so you can accelerate faster and it's, it all depends I would say it's 50-50 whatever climb you're doing and if you really want to get that extra edge, get food or take food away from your tank. And usually that will be enough. Your budget seems to really stick to the ground. Any tips for climbing with a slow or low power to weight ratio tank, like 261 or slippery RD like my 13F3? Thanks! Um, any tips? I would say... Get to top speed or else... Just get the, the technical climbs. With a 261, um, as I've seen one of my clanmates do yesterday, uh, go on mountain pass and do A1. Um, do C3. Uh, do, the, do the climbs that don't really require speed, but just require wiggling. Like uh, K4 on Arctic region. Uh, stuff like that you can do in the 261 because you have to wiggle. <coughs> and the slipper Arty. Uh, I would say, I, I don't know what the, what's the top speed of the thing, but um, make sure you use the top speed of it. And I don't know, does, do people climb with that thing? Get get the A20, it's a tier 4 Russian. It's really good, it's way better than, the, than that RT. Or if you want to climb with an RT, get the, the later batch at once. Those are really, really nice. Florian, hey Snillian. I really enjoy your videos, but I'm having only a T67 for climbing. Which tanks are good for climbing too? Um, A20. The MT25. Uh, E25. Like, uh, yeah, the Bulldog. It's really, all really good. Let's see. Um, thank you for your help and sorry for the mistake in my English, but I'm learning it only at school. I hope you understand my comment. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Um, yeah, the Bulldog is good. Well, good enough. It's like a T49. It, you have to use the top speed and it's a lot harder than in the bad jet. Um, there are some more tanks. I'll probably list them to the side just to show you what you what you also can drive with in the lower tiers. I can't think of everything on the top of my head. Microvelpen. If you could only play one tank for the rest of your life, what tank would it be? Bad jet is not an option. Ah! <laughs> oh god. Um. Oh god, that's a hard one. This really requires some thinking. Because... I would say it would be a tier 10. And it needs to be able to climb. Um, oh my god. Uh, well, fuck it. I would just go t 62 a because it's versatile and can do everything except a lot of the climbs. Yeah, I would cry myself to sleep if that would happen. Yeah. I can't pronounce that name, but okay. <laughs> your favorite tank in the game, except Batchet and your Batchet crew skills. Okay, I will list the, the crew skills there, or there, whatever. Um, favorite tank, um, the FE four two zero two. I absolutely love the tier 10 and well 
I haven't played it since the buff, but it can only be better, right? Going 50 kilometers an hour. So, yeah. I like the FV. Uh, FS Avix. If you could play at least, if you could play one last match, what tank and map would it be? Um, one last match, I would say. Steps with a bad jet, North spawn. And then not having any heavy tanks or big tank destroyers that go 1 2 line. I would climb A3 and I would hold the base and that entire flank on my own and have like the match of my dreams. How much you did for third mark? Um, I did a lot. <laughs> Um, around 4.6k on average. So, yeah, it's okay. I guess. It's all around the same as all the other tier 10s. Just make sure you spot. Spotting is good. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh god. Um, let me look up my list of subscribes. Um. Ah, yeah. I I love CinemaSins. That's one of the best channels out there. Uh, I like Sheesh. And one of my top favorites is uh, Linus Tech Tips. Like, I, I love technology, so, yeah. Naturally, you, you, you'll find that channel eventually. The Dead Zone. Hoe ben je bezig op een video om die teksten juist op te krijgen? Via Vegas Pro, met de hand is dat echt rotwerk uit ervaring sprekend. Uh, ja, ja, ik ben echt heel lang bezig. Um, zeg maar zo'n 5 minuten per dingetje wat je ziet in beeld. Dus dat kan echt oplopen tot 24 uur per video. Dat duurt echt heel lang. Echt heel lang. How many languages do you know? <laughs> Can you make she start climbing too? Um, I know Dutch and English. A little bit of French, but yeah. That's really trivial. Um, yeah, that's two, I guess. I can make she start climbing. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. He's an animal, but he's not a goat. He can do whatever he wants. Well, I tried, but I can't make him start climbing. Oh god, Stefan. I know you. If Wargaming removed the bad shit, would you quit what? Yep. Yep. Of course. <laughs> Artyom, can you wear purple unicorn lipstick please? <laughs> Any other color will do too. Wow. So we got uh, to the less serious part of the video. Good. Let's do it. Niet. Obviously, this is the less serious part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> if you could eat one type of food for the rest of your life, which mountain would you climb first? Um, I would go for the Kilimanjaro. Uh, <laughs> one type of food. Mexican! Who is your favorite member in fame? Why is it cheese? <laughs> Um, probably because we're like uh, the YouTubers of fame and we have really close connections to each other and well we're always derping around on team speaking stuff so yeah obviously we'll grow close together each, each day and with each living moment so yeah yeah she's why she's because she's awesome what do you think about the fame member who is the dumbest and who are your best mates the dumbest. 
Yeah, my stutter. <laughs> For obvious reasons. A kaartje. Um, because uh, leaking like that information and then the whole clan getting kicked uh, was the smartest thing. And uh, my best mates in fame, I guess. Um, let's go. Um, she's obviously. Uh, I love Isne. I love Vale. Vale. Um, uh, I love Venus. Well, well, he's been away for a while, but he'll he'll be back, I guess. And I love Ducky. When will you marry your bed yet? Um, the marriage is planned on like, uh, let's see, 5th of April 2018. So, we got some time. But yeah, it's a lot of planning to marry a tank, you know. You ever eaten goat meat? <laughs> I don't think I have. I don't know. No, no, not yet. Your favorite trade tank? Oh. Ooh, um, Evi 4202. Your favorite ammunition type, APCR, because it flies so fast, it's legendary. You like the new changes in what? Overpowered tier 8 premium tanks, Swedish tanks, etc. PS, great budget skills. Thanks, man. Thanks. Um, no, no, the new meta is kind of fucked up because it requires you to shoot a lot of gold ammo and well, overkill. It's not the best. <laughs> Stop taking pictures. It's not funny. <laughs> it's on my teeth. <laughs> oh my god, you're the worst. <laughs> Is it gone? Okay, god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I love gold shooting and it's not the best. Is it gone? <laughs> Nay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you get kicked from Omni? Uh, yes, uh, I was too bad for Omni, so I joined fame. Is this your riddle or your first one? This is my first account, actually. How many fa guys in fame are rerolls? Oh, I got you, echt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'm not used to wearing lipstick, okay? How many guys film with riddles? Uh, we have a couple of stat batters, I guess. So let's say 30% is riddle. Or 50? I don't know. Mary fuck kill. She's ducky Katy Betty. <gasps> Ooh. Um, I oh, this is a hard one. Uh, I think I I would marry she's kill Ducky and fuck Carrie Bear. <laughs> yeah, go. <Cool. laughs> Favorite chocolate, plain with nuts, caramel. I like the the the, the darker uh, kinds of chocolate. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Can you boost me through the modern elites? No, but for real, show us your best coat impression. <laughs> well, I could. Well, you did the Don modern elites, as you told me. But uh, sorry, man, too late for the Q and A. My best coat impression. No, please. Oh, well, I'm 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 wearing lipstick anyway, so. <laughs> Let would you smack my ass? Oh, definitely. I like young boys. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Kurumi Tokisaki, do you like pie? And if so, what type of pie? Um, uh, strawberry quark. That's the best one. Yeah, I love that because it's it's like so fresh and so. I like strawberries, so sweet and makes me feel like a goat. How big are the horns of your goat? You took me? Oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, strawberries are red like my lips. Huh. How big are the horns of your goat? My goat? My, I, uh, well... My mother is a goat, but she's not here. She's like in a different part of the Netherlands. Uh, she doesn't have any horns. And my father is just a human, so... Yeah. I hope that answers your questions. Onion, onion. Hey mate, please continue the gameplay series so I can get good in my bed yet. Okay, okay, okay. Got some questions here for you. How do you differentiate the goat sounds from the sheep sounds? Imitate. <laughs> well, you would. It, it's like a goat um, starts with an M and a sheep starts with a B. Like, meh and bah. You know? It's a, there's a difference. How would you name your goat? Um, Gerrit. Oh yeah, Gerrit. That's like a Dutch name. It's really good. It's it's sublime. Do you climb outside of what? Um, no. Well, I tried, like in in those climbing halls, and but no, no, not really. Do you rage? No, <laughs> rage? No. <laughs> no man, I'm happy God. No, no. What were your dreams when you were a child? <laughs> what? Dreams? I played video games. Um, I don't know. Just to be good at video games, I guess. What is your job? Um, I used to work in uh, tulips, but now I'm doing nothing. I know, it's sad, but... I got YouTube. I got you guys. Tell us some OP climbs in Arta. Um, E9 on Sacred Valley is good. Uh, let's say A1 or K0 on Swamp. If you can get there with your RD. Um, most, mostly the climbs that are close to the spawn. And get you like out of line of sight. So the one line on Mountain Pass for example. Just to name a couple. Girlfriend or bad yet? What? What? You can't ask that for me, man. Um. Okay, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Don't 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 beat me up, man. Climbing map 3k damage or no climbing 9k damage? I would say no climbing 9k damage, because 9k damage in the bad yet is really awesome. Doesn't matter what kind of like map you have, if you do 9k damage in a bad jet, you basically shot all your ammo <laughs> and just had an amazing game. Where in the Netherlands do you live? I uh, already answered that question. How old are you? I am 24 years old. Saba, hi, hi. Have you ever smoked weed? <laughs> no, I haven't. I've never smoked a thing. Like, I touched a cigarette and then smelled my hands afterwards and I almost puked. I, I fucking hate it. What's your favorite food and drink? My favorite food is like uh, an Indian curry. Uh, I just love it. I love spicy food. And favorite drink? Jägermeister. Because I'm an alcoholic. No, I'm not. But I like alcohol. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. What do you do for a living? Uh, YouTube and Twitch. Right? Nothing. <laughs> do you travel a lot abroad? And have you been to Hungary? If not, want to. That's all. Uh, I don't travel a lot abroad, no. Like, I rarely travel. And if I travel, then it's in the Netherlands. Oh. <laughs> Man, lipstick is just not my thing. Done. I have to. Yeah. And stupid lips. Remember. So no, no, I have never been to Hungary. Um, do I want to? Well, probably uh, my Sora will visit me when I get to the airport and he'll beat me up, so no. Big Bali. Hey, son. Hey, Big. Hey, Bali. Hey. Do you like my lips? Do you like Shishi's beard? Oh, yeah, I do. Mm. I like to kiss him on the lips. Then, then his beard tickles my chin and I'm like, ooh. Okay, that's gay, but no, no. Well, I like his beard, but yeah. 
that's it. Why don't you play in Ding or Gohard? Because the reasons, I guess. Like, uh, I want to play with Ding, but Shook is uh, preferred cheese. Gohard, well, uh, they had already enough climbers, so. And my, my aim is shaky, right? My story. Why do you make videos? Um, to inform you guys and to teach the community about climbing. To show you a different way of playing this game. How many push-ups can you do in one run? Uh, 38. That's the last time I did it and tried like a couple months ago. So it's like 32 now. 30. How much spare time do you usually have to play? Uh, a lot, but I don't spend it on World of Tanks because I don't play randoms or anything. So I usually spend it on other games like World of Warcraft or derping around YouTube, editing videos and doing all sort of things. Ah, Yanish! Big fan, small questions. How much do you love your bet yet? A lot. More than your girlfriend? No. Shoe size. I'm a size 11 or 47 or all the other plebs. Uh, dick size. OP OP. <laughs> um, prefer not to mention that. Do you like Artie? Silly question. Of course you like yeah, Of course I like Artie. <laughs> Silly of you, man. Come on. How much money have you spent on what? I think around. 150 euros? Something like that? But yeah. Then again, I gain a lot more than I spend, so. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That's enough questions. Thanks, STF. I love you. Good luck, have fun. You too, man. You too. <coughs> um, the last two. Well, last two guys. Holy. Clorox. Uh, these are my questions. Are you going to real life? Look at me. Sexy. Do you have life? No. Do you drink bleach? No. Well, I could if you want to. For 100 euros, I will do. I'll drink bleach. Will you answer my questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's do this, man. What? Why are you reading this? I don't know. When I got too much time on my hands, let's let's go to the next one. When will you record next video? T today? Now? Just. Can I have sex with you? Are you a female or a male? I want to be prepared, you know? Depends. Girlfriend? Or Betsy AP? Does that... Is that the tank or the, the bulldog? Or like the girlfriend? Or... I would go with the AP anyway. <laughs> oh, wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's or KFC? Um, I've been to the McDonald's last week and it was disgusting, so I'll go to KFC. Or both. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. Rather none than both. Do you like reading things like this? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Evil, evil. Hey, evil. Name your top 5 tier 10 tanks in the game. Uh, uh, uh top 5. Let me let me get a list before I forget thanks to my really good memory. Ooh, ooh. My favorite tier 10 tanks. Oh god, here we go. Uh E5 got nerfed, but it's still awesome. Uh T6 T628. Um blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And Badget? God, I, I don't have a lot of tier 10 tanks, um, so I would say um, from the 5th is the Centurion Action 10, 4 is E5, 3 would be the T62A, uh, 2 would be probably the FE215B, and at 1 the bad jet, of course. Do you have a pet? No. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. How old are you? I'm 24. With which frame member do you like playing the most? Um, 
I would say Warlord. Because he's an animal. Why are you such an animal? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's it you have it I have it in me and you might have it in you too, but just let the animal come out outside and then join fame. I love you. Right, yeah, I love you back. Yeah, well, before I read, do you love me back? Of course, man, of course. I guess that's it. That's the roundup to the questions and answer. We're done. We're, 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 I can take off the lipstick and... No, oh, I can't. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.